get into it. C-sections, what they don't tell you. Um, trigger warning. I'm not going to try and traumatize you, but I am going to, you know, Madison, talk it up the way I do. I don't sugarcoat. I don't um, BS. I just say it like it is. Um, so for me, my C-section was scheduled. However, my water did break early, so it ended up being not an emergency C-section, but an emergent. I think that's what they call it, either urgent or emergent, um, because he was coming, but my body did not deliver baby's good. Um, so for me, some of the things that I would warn a mom about, and I have, um, I expected not to want to have visitors the first day and want to have visitors the second day. First day, I was like, I'm fine. Like, everybody come, everybody visit me. I'm doing great. Day two, I don't know if anyone else felt this way. I've heard from other people, but day two was hell for me. Like, <laughs> I was in the hospital room crying. I remember to felt like, this is what I chose and like, I can't even handle it. But um, every day after that, I would say, like, it was a very, very slow incline, getting better. And then by day 10, I, like, always kind of say I was, like, 80%. I remember waking up that day and just being like, wait, that didn't hurt to get out of bed. That didn't hurt to do that. Like, oh. And it kind of just, you know, just got better as it as I went on. Um, but one of the other big things that they don't kind of tell you about is um, with a vaginal delivery, the baby's head gets squeezed out and that pushes a lot of the mucus out of their throat. So your baby misses that from a C-section and they're often like phlegmy. Um, my sister-in-law had a bad experience with that and I don't want to like, you know, talk on her experience. Um, but she was the one who warned me about that and I have since warned other moms and thankfully for us, we didn't have an issue with it. Um, but going to the actual surgery, um, for me, I was very anxious because I have a bad back. So I was really scared that this, you know, epidural or spinal or whatever they wanted to do wasn't going to work because my epidural didn't work the first time around. Um, so they were really, really good. I had like basically a nurse advocate from advocate for me the whole time. And, you know, just kept saying, she's really nervous. She had a bad experience the first time around. Can we go easy on her? So, um, the doctor, so I, when you're starting out, it's just you, your husband, your partner, your mom, whatever you want to bring in with you, isn't able to come in. And so you get numbed up by yourself. And at this point, I remember being pretty shaky already. Um, but then when they lay you down and they start doing like seeing if you're numb, they start doing like hot and cold things. And then, um, I remember being like, I can still kind of feel that. And the doctor was like, okay, just so you know, I'm going to give you a little bit more, but from that answer that you gave me, this is when we would normally start cutting. And I was like, but I can feel it. And he's like, yeah, but you wouldn't actually feel it. And I was like, okay. And he's like, but since you're nervous, I'm just going to give you a little extra. So my advice is just say you're nervous <laughs> because like he had said, I probably wouldn't have felt it. And I hadn't felt anything sharp. I could just tell where he was. And I know that you can feel pressure. And that's another thing they tell you, you know, you can feel pressure, but it's, it's crazy. Um, they started cutting into me and then that's when they go and get dad or partner or whatever and by the time he walked in I was already like open and so he had to like walk past that and I remember being like that feels traumatizing but whatever um but the whole procedure like the whole cutting to baby out I think I've heard it's like six or five minutes and I would say yeah like they started cutting and then by the time they let Phil in, I was like, he is going to miss this. Like, let him in. It's the stitching up and healing that, you know, takes the time. Um, but for me, like they tell you that you're going to feel pressure. And I've had like a lot of little tiny surgery procedures that I've been awake for. So I like thought I knew what that meant. 
Um, but this is kind of where it really freaked me out and what I would have loved to be warned about. Um, for a C-section, yes, they pulled the baby out. But what normally helps a vaginal delivery is contractions. So they basically do like a CPR version of contractions on your body, like right here to like simulate contractions. So like one doctor was like literally like pushing on me, like repeatedly so hard. And I was just like, you're going to break through to the table. Like that to me was the part that was like, this is crazy. And nobody warned me about that. And then, um, I am not good with pain meds. I instantly get sick. So I was getting sick and shaky. And that was like one of the most terrifying, terrifying things for me because, um, they got into your stomach muscles. So you can't really like, like do the retching that you would do to puke. So it was like, like, I remember just like filling up just being like, I'm going to die. I am going to go back into my throat. And I'm going to aspirate. I'm going to die. Like I finally get when aspiration is like, cause before it's like, just, you know, roll over, get it out. But no, it was like scary. So they end up giving me like this, like literally like the dentist sucker thing. And like, you just keep it in your mouth. And so I was like, puking into a straw. Like it was like, just so not glamorous. And then, um, um, oh my gosh. Then they start, then they bring you your baby. But for me, I was still so shaky and so like sick and pee. It was just, oh, it was just a mess. Um, but the surgery, like the surgery honestly was the easiest part. Like I just felt like a little freaked out with just how, um, more violent, I guess I was, it probably, and, and the hospital I was at isn't in a rush. Like I was one of two deliveries while I was there the entire time. I was the only C-section. So it's not like, you know, they're in this big rush, but it just feels like, I, I mean, that sounds probably kind of picky because it's like, you want them to get your baby out. But yeah, it felt like, wow, you should never really think babies are fragile after you've had a traumatic delivery or a C-section because babies aren't fragile. And um, the things that I was shocked about for after was um, the numbness. Why doesn't anybody talk about that? Like there's so many like things that you can do to desensitize the area. Like you rub different materials and you can literally start that like a couple of days after surgery. And I didn't know about that for a while. And so I'm like, Dougie's like 18 months almost. And I still like from my belly button down, numb. You could probably give me another C-section and I would not notice. Not going to try it. Oh, here I'll knock at the door. Hello? In true long fashion, I get interrupted. Um, so basically I just wanted to finish with, um, the things that I did know, which were, um, accept all the health help that is offered to you. You just had a major surgery and whether or not you just also were in labor, you now had a major surgery and you just ran a marathon times a million, a million, um, cough with a pillow, hug to you like that. Um, try and stay like on the same kind of surface level. Like don't, if you have a super tall bed, probably not going to be your best friend or a super low couch, probably not going to be your best friend. Um, and get up and moving like next day, same day. If it's, you know, whenever the nurse has suggested and you're like, you want me to do what? Trust them. They've seen it. It sucks, but. You'll thank them in the end. And then after that, don't overdo it. Don't use and abuse people. Bye.